Hey guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. Last time we left off, we found out more about Look At Me and he was there at the night night of the crime, but he let him get away, but kind of like seemed purposely according to his words, or at least that's what I got out of it. And uh yeah, it, now it turns out that um supposedly Mask the Mask surrendered, so I, we're here at the detention center, and we're about to talk to him. Let's see what's going on. Hey, pal! Oh, welcome to the detention center! You're sure in a happy mood, aren't you? Yep. After all, we got masked up. Right, but, um, so where's the sacred urn? Oh, sorry about that, pal. Uh, I guess I didn't really think about it before. But you're the victim in this case. Huh? Well, I guess I should let you guys hear a story straight from the horse's mouth. Okay... You know, he's right, Nick. He is? If you think about it real hard, we are the victims! Well... I guess so. In a way. Um... I'm sure... I'm so used to thinking of the victim as a dead person because we're always on murder cases. Excuse me. But anyway, I have to get the sacred urn back. Please don't just ignore me. Uh, who are you? Uh, uh um, yeah, exactly. Who are you? I, uh, um, I, I'm a mask. The mask. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, Nick. Doesn't he look kind of like, well, gangly? I'm Ron Delight, the famous Mask the Mask. I don't think this guy could punch his way out of a wet paper bag. This is the infamous Phantom Thief Mask the Mask? Okay, I mean, we've learned from the first case that looks can be deceiving from Dahlia Hawthorne, but this I'm not so sure of. Well, I guess we can talk to him about what the hell's going on. So, you're the mask the mask guy? Yes, you bet! No, um, that's wrong. You see, it's complicated. Sort of, yes, and sort of no, if you know what I mean. Now, if you notice, like, the last couple lines, or last couple, um, letters there, it's like, you know what I mean, you know, he kind of, like, lowers his voice. I think that's what it's meant to do anyway, because it's, like, kind of like, colored differently. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see that all that great. Hmm? What's wrong? Well, when I say wrong, what I really mean to say is that it's not right, per se. You see, it's not spelled mask to mask. It's actually mask to mask. What's with this guy? Well, he's a timid little weakling. We know that much. Don't do that! Don't look at me like that! I don't need your pity! And a major crybaby, too. So, why did you give yourself up? Well, you see, it's because... Well, I know why. It's because you stole such a priceless treasure. And now you're overwhelmed with guilt. Am I right? Priceless treasure? That broken old urn? Um, I have a little favor to ask. Yes? What is it? Could you go and talk to Desi? Desi? Yeah, well, I guess we're gonna find out who she is, but let's first ask what the urn. Look, we really want our urn back, so where is it? I'm sorry, I'll give it back. I really will. Uh, maybe not. No, I can't. I can't keep promises I can't keep. I'll just end up hurting people. Um, Mr. Nick? I couldn't hear what he just said, especially the last part. Um, Mr. Damask, do you think you could, uh, speak up a little bit? Yes, sir! I will! I promise! Um, maybe not. You see, I'm already speaking my normal voice, so I really can't do anything. Mr. Damask, about the urn... Oh, yes! The urn! Right away! Um, actually, no. I wouldn't mind telling you, but actually I'm afraid you wouldn't believe me anyway. Enough already! Just tell us where it is! Just tell us so straight! Please! Please don't yell at me! <sighs> I, I... I... I'm sorry. That urn, I... Uh, I lost it! W what?! 
you dumb! He lost it. You just stole it. What did What did you just say? Did you just say you lost it? Yes. Uh, no. Uh, maybe so. I mean, yes, yes. I did. I lost it. What do you mean? Well, you know, I lost it. Like I said, these things just happen. You're on the train and you get distracted and you forget your bag. You know. What? You forgot our sacred urn on a train? Uh, wait a minute, you went on a train dressed like that? No, I, I... I'm just speaking hypothetically, that's all. Anyway, I'm sorry! I just lost this somewhere, I don't know where! This guy's story is more surreal than a doll painting. Dolly painting. Are you really sure this creep is Mask the Mask? Why, uh, don't call him a creep. Although I do have to admit, I understand your doubts about this guy. Uh, well, okay, let's find out more about this Desi he wants us to talk to. So who is this Desi person? Please don't talk about my wife like that! I guess she must be his wife. <sighs> I'm sorry. The truth is, it, it was my wife that told me to have, to have you all come here. Um... Do you think you can go out and go and visit her at my hideout? Hideout? Mr. Nick, what does he mean by hideout? Oh, sorry. Actually, I meant to say my secret base. Secret base? Well, my apartment, actually. Palazzo Pele Pelepepe, third floor. Yeah, yeah, well, I messed that word up. Let's go have a word. Look, Nick, to Mask the Mask's hideout! Something tells me she likes to sound the word hideout. Yeah. Well, okay, let's go to his hideout then. His apartment. Well, sure, it kind of looks like a secret base in a sense. I'm not really sure, but... Wow, check this place out. No doubt about it, this is Master Mask's hideout, all right. Who is it? Is that you, Ronnie? Huh? Who are you people? Or, um, are you Desiree Delight? Uh, that's right, I'm Desiree. Ah! Oh, you must be the lawyer and the victim! Yeah, that's us. Uh, your husband told us that you wanted us to stop by. I'm Maya Faye, and this is Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Nikki boy and Maya, huh? I can't tell you how grateful I am that you decided to help my Ronnie. Well, um, <laughs> you're welcome. Did she really call me Nikki boy? Yes, she did. How the hell did Ron get a woman like that? Just saying. It happens, but just saying. Um, about your husband. <laughs> Isn't he the cutest? A bit weak sometimes, though. A bit. By the way, did you know they mentioned Maya on TV? Huh? Really? They said you own the urn and that you're doing some shady training on the, at a law office now. Remind me not to watch that channel's news program. <laughs> After I saw that, I thought it might be a good idea to meet the lawyer they mentioned. I see. My Ronnie. He has a powerful imagination and gets deluded easily. He kept insisting he was going to surrender to the police. I didn't know what to do! It was me! I stole that urn, he kept saying, as if it was even it was as if it was even possible. Huh? But are you saying he didn't? <laughs> of course he didn't! Why would my Ronnie ever do something like that? Well, you know, it's a priceless treasure, and he's a... you know. Is it possible his own wife doesn't know his secret identity? Come on, that can't be true. I mean, look around you, woman. Me? Oh, I'm the kind of woman that needs excitement in her life. Oh, excitement, huh? Yeah, I'm not my happiest when I'm racing along with my bike going at full throttle. Riding a motorcycle is like putting your life on the line. You know what I mean? Well, I think it depends on how you ride it. I'm the type that can't stand living a boring, dreary old life with no action. No offense, but your husband, Ron, doesn't exactly look like a risk-taking type himself. 
No, you're right about that. He's definitely not one for thrills and danger. But I do have to say that he makes up for it in other ways. Other ways? Get your mind out of gutter. Yes, money! Ronnie is incredibly rich and super generous. Okay, I think we, there's some marital problems going on here. You brought me a bike that's so fast it would make your head spin. And shopping? <laughs> I like to shop so much it makes Ron's head spin. The other day it actually happened. His head actually started to spin. Man, talk about a high maintenance wife. So where does Mr. Delight get all this money from? Ronnie is a security guard. He put their lives on the line, right? So we get paid tons of money in return. Tons of it. He's a security guard. Okay, I think it's my turn for my head to spin. Yeah, I'm pretty sure security guards... Yeah, they put their lives on the line. And so do police officers and other people in that line of work, but... Sadly, I don't think they get paid that much. Not to the extent of you going shopping and buying things, like, every day, or the high maintenance you are. Can you tell us about what happened last night? Hmm, what time did that incident take place again? What time was it again, Maya? Well, according to Detective Gumshoe, it was around 1.30 in the morning. Oh, last night was horrible. I got pulled over. Pulled over? Yeah, I always do my best flying at night. Flying? Um, you're talking about your motorcycle, right? Well, yeah. Anyway, last night I got pulled over by a pol uh, policeman. I can't believe he caught up to me. It was a great chase, just, uh, just uh, let me tell you. When he finally caught me, the poor man was as white as a sheet. It was about 3 in the morning when I finally got home. Sounds like she's got an airtight alibi. Well, what about Mr. Delight? Well, I really don't know. We weren't together at that time of the night. But when I got home, he was already fast asleep. So basically, he's got no alibi. Great! Great, he doesn't have an alibi. Can things get possibly worse? Maybe. Let's go ahead and present the actual Mask the Mask. I mean, it seems like she doesn't know that that's what he actually is. I mean, that's what he's saying, anyway. Um, Miss Delight, you must know, right? About your husband and Mask the Mask? Mask the Mask? Oh, of course, I know all about it. My husband is his biggest fan. Yep, what? Huh? B biggest fan? Yeah, and Ronnie can be pretty delusional sometimes. That's how this whole misunderstanding happened. W wait a minute. Did you just say delusional? Well, yeah, that's right. I just don't know what I'm gonna do with him. You see, Ronnie actually believes that he is Mask the Mask. What? What are you talking about? Ah, oh, great. Ah. Oh. Oh, wait a minute, I just realized, they have a picture of Phoenix here. Did they always have that before? What more can I say, this is a third year as a young but skilled lawyer. Okay, that's nice. Uh, what? Hold on a minute here, she's delusional? That's not good at all! So, when did Ron first become Mask the Mask? What are you talking about? He's not Mask the Mask! Huh? But... Wait a second! Look around this room! This place is obviously Master the Mask's hideout! No, no, you're totally wrong! A real thief's hideout wouldn't look like this! It's because Ronnie is so timid himself that he looks up to heroic figures! Heroic figures? But Master the Mask is a bad guy! So he's deluded, huh? Could that really be true? Anyway, if he really had stolen the urn, wouldn't he still have it? Well, I suppose so. Then why don't you ask him if he has the urn or not? <sighs> oh, excuse me, we did ask him. She does have a point. Mr. Delight isn't exactly a criminal type. But something about Ron's behavior bothers me. Maybe it's true. Maybe Mr. Delight isn't Mask's mask after all. Say, can I ask you something, Nikki boy? What is it? I know I may seem like a bad girl on the outside, but the one thing I won't stand for is illegal activity. 
I had a feeling you didn't. You're tough, but I can tell you're you're you got a good heart. Somebody framed my poor Ronnie. I just know it. Um, could you give this to Ronnie for me? A letter? Yes, for Ronnie. I want him to fight back. Mrs. Miss Delight. Okay, you've got it. Just relax and leave it all to us. So Desiree's letter. Oh, it has little flowers and sticker there. <laughs> Alright, well, that's that. Um, how about we go ahead and just present the letter to him real quick. Hopefully this won't take too long, but um, alright, that's what I just presented. This video might go on for a little, a little bit longer, but eh, whatever. Oh, that's right. Here, this is for your wife. Oh, from Desi? Thank you! Okay. He take he took the letter from me. Wait a minute, how does he take that? Isn't there glass in front of there unless there's like a thing to slide it through? My dear Ronnie, how are you? I'm doing fine. He's clutching onto that letter so hard the ink is gonna be squeezed out. He looks so happy. You should write a letter to Mystic Maya too, Mr. Nick. Ah, uh, she still thinks how we're going out. Um Mr. Lawyer? Yes. In the letter that Desiree wrote, Desi wrote, she said, Ask this guy to be your lawyer. Huh? Uh, um, I know this would be asking a lot, but... Could you please take my case? My trial starts tomorrow. Hey, hang on a second! He can't be your lawyer! Why not? What do you mean, why not? You're the, we're the victims in this case, right? Victims of this Damask guy! Well, yeah, but according to Desiree, he didn't do it. She said, poor man, he's deluded. Yeah, there we go. Right, Mr. Nick? Come on, she could be lying to protect her husband! Well, that's true. Uh, actually not. Actually not. It's actually hard to say. Oh no, it's spreading! Oh, please, I'm, I'll give you the treasure of your choice in return! Hmm, what should I do? Well, I feel bad or just refusing, but is this case really something I can take? We're good, so yes. Well, Mr. Delight, I decided to give it a try. I'll defend you. Really? You will? Hey, what are you doing, Nick? He's a thief. You can't trust him. Well, he may be a thief, but I think there's more to this case than meets the eye. Mr. Nick, I was wrong about you. I shouldn't have trusted you. Pearls? I can't believe you defend this person after what he did to Mystic Maya. I... I'll never forgive you. Ever! And she's gonna cry. P Pearly, wait! Oh, this is gonna be ugly. I'll go after her. Oh, God. See what you caused. Um, sorry about that. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Well, you couldn't have known she'd react like that. I guess I might as well start investigating. Oh, Maya, where's Pearls? She said she's gonna go. She's not going back to the office. Go check in on. Go check in on her later, would you? And what about you? Are you okay with me taking Mr. Light's case? Yeah. I'm fine, Nick. I believe in you. <laughs> I think I'm gonna cry. Um, I, uh, I know we have a lot of work to do. I really appreciate it. Okay, Nick, let's get this show on the road. Alright, so... It's kind of nice. Like It's like Phoenix knows that, you know, she'll mile will be, always be on his side. and I guess that's why he kind of teared up a little bit. I mean, of course, Pearly, she might not understand, you know, although she is mature for her age, I mean, she is still young, I mean, she will have those tantrums or, you know, acting out like that, so it's understandable as well. So, next time we're going to go ahead and start investigating, now that we officially have Ron as our uh, client. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations. I'll see you guys later.